So Daniel also, also asked um, if you think you are a better tournament director or a better poker player. <laughs> um, if I think I think I'm a better tournament director, and I hate to say this. <laughs> 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 but maybe someday you can uh, be a professional poker player. Um, I like to play tournaments, but I'm not sure if I like the the pressure of having to make my living of playing poker. Um, I think I have certain skills to survive, but I'm I prefer to make my money in the safe way. <laughs> so. So, next question, um, does it ever, ever happen that you are doing live comments on a final table and you really wish you could say to the player, how the hell are you doing that? <laughs> I wish a lot, believe me. Um, I do all the live commentaries for the EPTs um, and the problem doing this is I have to make sure I don't influence the game in any way. Uh, so I have to be very, very neutral. Uh, I, c I couldn't say there's a flush draw. I couldn't say there's three hearts on the boards. I have to call the cards. It's the nine of hearts, three of hearts, the four of hearts. It's not the same if you're saying there's three hearts because this tells you there's a flush possible. So I have to be very, very neutral and careful not to influence the game in any direction. So in my mind, I would like to say a lot of things. Yeah? And what, hates, what I hate most is the, especially if a player... I mean, I know, I can tell you 99% of a player will fold or not fold. Yeah? And it's this acting and losing time for everybody is, 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 is horrible. Yeah? I would like to say, okay, now you think for two minutes and then you're going to fold. Everybody knows you're going to fold, but shut up, fold. That's what I say. Yeah. Pass. Pass. Yeah, <laughs> I say pass. Yeah. <laughs> so the next question, um, what was the most unusual thing you saw in a live tournament? The most unusual thing I saw was not a nice thing, actually, I have to say. Um, it was in my in my old casino I worked, I mentioned to you before. I saw that a player actually, when it was his turn to act, he fell off the chair. He got a heart attack and unfortunately, because of the heart attack, he died right away. This was the most unusual thing I have to say I saw and was not nice to experience, but I was part of it, yeah. Well, let's continue. Um, well, some of the players are curious. Uh, why did it, did you and your team choose Portugal and Villa Moura for the EPT season six? Actually, this is a, this is a decision. Um, it's not made by me. It's made by uh, one of the EPT uh, representatives. Um, my role is not to decide where we go. My actual role is I have a a cooperation with EPT, with my company, TK Poker Events. So we are actually running the live tournaments for the European Poker Tour, but we don't decide where we go. You were here before in other tournaments. Yeah. So what do you think about Portugal so far? <laughs> um, I've been here, I've been to Portugal two times. I was in Estoril once, and I've been here in Villa Moura at the same venue a second time. Um, I like it a lot. I wish I return here it's, if it's in the season to really uh, be able to to uh, see the to be here in summer to have the sun and see the the, the lively uh, atmosphere of Villa Moura and the, the marina. Um, I can imagine it must be phenomenal during summer. Right now it's a little bit quiet, but I can see the beauty of of, of the country and the beauty of this place. So maybe on your next vacation. Yes, I have to come for vacation actually, <laughs> instead of... Uh, this happens very often. People say, Thomas, you're traveling around the world, you see so many nice places. You get around in Europe and then the nice sunny places. But the matter of the fact, uh, my life is not enjoying the beauty of the places. My life is seeing the airport, the hotel and the poker room. And uh, I don't get much chance to actually enjoy the beauty of the places that we go so it looks more more nice and more uh, exciting as it actually is as an inside view of a tournament director um, you could say why don't you come a day earlier stay two days over um, my answer to this would be uh, I like to go home as quick as I can because the next tournament is waiting 
of obviously if I'm in the Caribbean, I will stay an extra day or two. Yeah. 